Hello and welcome to the first What If video for the channel. In this series, we'll be looking at specific moments in the Star Wars universe and creating a separate timeline from that moment. In this video, we'll be looking at what would happen if Luke Skywalker was allowed to join the Imperial Academy instead of having to spend another harvest with his uncle and aunt on Tatooine. Keep in mind, the events of Rogue One A Star Wars Story still happened, and if you haven't seen it, this video will contain spoilers. Also, for the merits of the early on events, Luke will not be mentioned as much of the events in A New Hope took place in a few days, and Imperial training at the Academy would take much longer than that. To begin, R2-D2 and C-3PO would have been sent down to the planet of Tatooine with R2 carrying out the rest of the mission of Princess Leia to retrieve Obi-Wan Kenobi and bring him to Alderaan. Leia would have been captured by Darth Vader and brought to the Death Star to be interrogated for the location of the secret rebel base. Meanwhile, R2-D2 and C-3PO would have still been captured by the Jawas on Tatooine. So to enlarge with C-3PO instead of pursuing Owen to purchase R2 at the R5 had malfunction. Later, R2 would attempt to wander off to seek Obi-Wan Kenobi and inform him of Luke being sent to the Imperial Academy and Leia in need of assistance. However, Owen caught the droid and deactivated him as a punishment, leaving Kenobi in the dark about everything that had transpired. C-3PO would tell Owen that R2-D2 had a mission he needed to complete, but instead, Owen would think C-3PO was malfunctioning. What are you babbling on about, droid? Lars would ask as he proceeded to shut down C-3PO as well, only activating them both now when he needed them. The Empire would soon arrive to the homestead in search of the two droids. A stormtrooper would show Owen Lars the image of the droids in question. These are the droids you're looking for, Owen would say. I purchased them from a job market a few days back. If you need them, take them. I can't stop you. The troops would take the droids and in the process, once again, have the plans for the Death Star. Meanwhile, Leia, facing imprisonment on the Death Star just as she did in New Hope, would be interrogated by Darth Vader in hopes of locating the stolen plans for the Death Star and the location of the secret rebel base. Even though she was strong in the face of figures such as Vader and Grand Moff Tarkin, with Luke and Obi-Wan never meeting with Han Solo and Chewbacca to arrive at Alderaan before knowing it had been destroyed, there was no one to rescue Leia before she was driven to a breaking point. During one of the interrogations, an Imperial officer would inform Vader of the retrieval of the plans. Lord Vader, a transmission has been received from the platoon on Tatooine. They have recovered the droids in question. The plans are back in our possession. The officer would say. Vader would turn to a now disappointed Leia and give her an ultimatum. Give the Empire the location of the secret rebel base, or die. The base is on the moon of Yavin 4, the fourth moon, Leia would say, hanging her head as she just sealed the fate of her friends. Tarkin would order the Death Star to be moved to Yavin and prepare to destroy the rebel base. On the planet, desperate to counter back against the Empire, the Rebels would launch what forces they had left following the Battle of Scarif a few days earlier. However, with no idea on how to destroy the Death Star, the attack was pointless, and many pilots perished in the assault with only a few escaping. Tarkin would give the order to fire the Death Star upon Yavin 4, killing many credible leaders such as General Dodonna, General Draven, and Mon Mothma. About a year later, Luke would graduate from the Academy with extremely high honors and be enlisted within the ranks of the Empire. His service to the Empire would be remarked throughout until it reached one man, Darth Vader. That's where I decided to end this idea, and based on how it's received, I'll release a part two later. So I'm asking you to tell me what do you think about this possibility, and tell me what do you think could have happened if Luke was able to go to the Imperial Academy like he had originally planned. As I said, part two will be dependent on how well this edition does, so please like and share if you enjoyed. And if you have any other suggestions for videos, be sure to tell me in the comment section below, or submit them on Twitter at Marauders Guild. Until next time, May the force be with you, always.